everybody and thank you for tuning in to Mizzy Sports Chat. I am your host Mizzy and in this video you guys are going to be breaking down the Raptors matchup last night versus the LA Lakers where they absolutely torched the Lakers early in that game last night. You guys um, just absolutely dusted them up in that first quarter. Final score the first quarter for the Raptors was 33-12. to At one point in that first quarter you guys the Raptors went on a 30-6 to run. I couldn't believe it myself. 30-6 to was the score at one point in the first quarter. Um, the Lakers looked like they were just a bunch of pylons out on the court last night. At, early on in this one, you guys, the Raptors got out to a big-time lead early in this game. Were able to run away with it, never gave up the lead the rest of the way. Lakers made it a little bit close there at the end of the game in the fourth quarter with a little bit of a pushback. The refs were giving them a little bit of help with some bullshit calls as per usual. Um, but at the end of the day, the Raptors held on for a 114-103 final. Over the LA Lakers, improving their win streak to four in a row, you guys. Now 38 and 30 on the season, inching closer and closer to that sixth seed, keeping pace with the Cleveland Cavaliers, who also won in overtime last night versus the Clippers. Um, so a big time win for the Raptors here to keep pace with them. Um, Lakers fall to 29 and 39, just barely hanging on to a play in spot right now over in the Western Conference there, you guys. Uh, right, real quick before we start breaking down last night's matchup, you guys, if you go ahead and like this video, if you like sporting content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. We've been getting a lot of support lately, you guys, and I greatly appreciate it. We're going to keep coming out with as much content as possible for you guys. Uh, but without further ado, man, let's go ahead and start breaking down this game from last night here. Um, like I said, just an outstanding performance from the Toronto Raptors jumping on an old tired Lakers squad early and often in this one you guys obviously the Lakers had a tough tough loss to the Suns on Sunday night this was their second game of a back-to-back -back here the Raptors definitely took advantage of them um, obviously the Lakers got it going a little bit there in the second third and fourth quarter um, but that first quarter they just got absolutely dusted up by the Toronto Raptors like I said it was 33 to 12 the final score after the first quarter um, Lakers never really got back into it in this one until the fourth um, and they still really only cut it to about nine points there a couple times, and the Raptors kept pulling back away from them um, to seal the deal late in that one, you guys. Good win for the Raptors squad here on the road. They've had a nice West Coast road trip so far now. Um, you know, got to finish it off here against the Clippers on Wednesday with a big-time matchup, obviously the better of the two L.A. teams uh, that we got to play on Wednesday there, so hopefully the Raptors come ready to roll. Nice that we got tomorrow or today off. So we're not playing a back-to-back -back or anything like that, getting a little bit of rest here. Hopefully Fred Van Vliet can rest up that knee and uh, be ready to rock for a big-time game versus the Clippers on Wednesday, you guys. We'll go ahead and break down some of the team stats here to start off in this one. Uh, Raptors shot 40% as a team from the field, 39-96. and 96. Uh, Did a great job on the uh, rebounding as well. 64 rebounds in this game, absolutely outstanding by the Raptors. Um, only 43 rebounds for the Lakers, like I said, 64 boards for the Raptors, 19 offensive rebounds uh, comparatively to the 9 offensive boards from the Lakers, so we're just absolutely manhandling them on the glass in this one, you guys, exactly what you want to be doing, getting those extra possessions and getting those extra shots up, like I said, we had 9 more shots than them, they went 34 of 87 for a 39% clip from the field, uh, we took 96 shots total, so 9 more shots than them. Um, obviously, like I said, that rebounding helps out a lot. We shot uh, abysmal 27% from three-point range in last night's game, 10 of 37 from the field, 31%, um, so not much better for the Lakers. They shot 13 of 42 from the field uh, from three-point land, 75% free throw percentage for the Lakers, 22 of 29 from the free throw line. Raptors did a little bit better number just because we took more shots. We were 26 of 36, 72% from the line as a team last night. I want to see that improve a little bit better. Want to get those uh, numbers up at least above the 80% mark if you can. Um, but nonetheless, man, we made up for it with uh, the rebounding in last night's matchup. Like I said, 64 rebounds. That's absolutely insane um, to be able to pull down that many boards off the glass. Um, just, you know, huge game from the boys uh, in the rebounding department there. Also only turned the ball over 12 times as a collective unit, um, which isn't too shabby, keeping it around that 10 mark. Um, 13 turnovers for the Lakers. Uh, Raptors capitalized off of those pretty well. We also did phenomenal in the paint, you guys. 54 points in the paint in this one. Lakers only had 36 points in the paint, so you could tell the Raptors really made a focal point um, of their offense to get it inside the paint, drive to the rack early and oft, and get to the foul line, obviously, having 36 free throw attempts. You know, driving to the paint is going to get you more, more uh, free throw touches. Just, you know, putting more pressure on the refs to have to make a call here and there. Uh, when you are getting fouled driving to the rack. So great job by the Raptors, you know, not settling for the jump shot in this one, you guys. Taking advantage of the Lakers' weakness as it's down low in the post. Um, just playing a bunch of old dudes who really don't have that juice down low to be able to bang with the big dogs. Um, down low in the paint. 
Um, so I thought we did a great job of that last night as well, you guys. Um, Gary Trent Jr. got it rolling a little bit there in the second half, which was nice to see after struggling in the first half. Scotty Barnes was masterful with 15 points in that first quarter. Outscored the Lakers himself in the first quarter, you guys, with 15 points. Lakers only had 12 points as a team in that quarter. Um, so great job by by Scotty Barnes there. Really one of the key contributors to that 30-6 to six run at the start of the game there, you guys. Um, just an overall great performance from him. He just keeps looking better and better as each game goes along here. Um, like I said, he's my pick for the Rookie of the Year. I'd be I'd be shocked if anyone else gets it. I know Mobley had a pretty nice game last night as well against the uh, Clippers there. I think he had a 30-piece last night um, holding things down while Jared Allen's out with injury right now. So he had a pretty good game. But it's going to be between Barnes and Mobley, in my opinion. Barnes right now. I mean, really, in my opinion, it's probably going to depend on which team uh, finishes in the higher seeding. So if the Raptors can can boost above uh, Cleveland um, and take over that sixth seed. I can see Scotty for sure, hands down, winning this Rookie of the Year. I think he should win the Rookie of the Year anyways because I feel like he's contributed to more wins than uh, Evan Mobley has. But at the end of the day, most likely what I see happening is they're probably going to pick pick the rookie with the team that's at the higher seeding. So hopefully the Raptors can get into that sixth seed here in the coming weeks. We'll have to see what happens. But nonetheless, you guys, great performance from Scotty last night. We'll go ahead and break down the player stats here before we round out this video. We'll start off with the Lakers here, give them a little bit of love in this one. Talk about them for a little bit, I guess. We'll have to. LeBron goes off for 30 points, 9 boards, 3 assists, and 2 blocks in this game. 11-19 and 19 from the field. Pretty much the only guy that showed up for them. Um, and the same thing with LeBron. He only shows up on the offensive end. He never shows up on the defensive side of the ball. Um, he pretty much is just a pylon on the defensive end uh, at his 37 years of age right now. Obviously, he can still get it done, uh, you know, immaculately on the offensive end with his 30 points last night. Um, but that's all he's really good for. He's just stat padding at this point um, in the season, you know, with the Lakers knowing they really don't have a shot at a championship or anything like that this year. I'm um, just trying to make those numbers look a little bit better. Um, and he's been doing a good job of that. So credit to him anyways with the 30 points. Austin Reeves had a rough one. I think he only played around 16 minutes or something in this game. But he had three points and two rebounds. One of seven from the field. Tough shooting night for the kid. He's actually been one of the bright spots on the Lakers this season. Just with his energy and his effort out on the floor. Um, you know, it was bringing some juice last night's game. Just wasn't able to get that shot to drop for him. Was missing a lot of open three balls early on in that game in the first quarter. Um, Stanley Johnson, ex-Raptor. Had a quiet game as well. Two points, three boards, one assist. Oh, one from the field. Didn't really take a lot of shots. He's more out there as a defensive-minded basketball player for the uh, Lakers squad. Obviously, the defense wasn't really anywhere to be found for the Lakers early on in the game last night. Uh, but nonetheless, wish Stanley Johnson the best. Really liked him uh, as a Raptor last year. You know, provided some decent minutes for us when he did get out there. So, And he had Westbrook, you guys. Another tough night for Westbrook. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. Shot 4 of 10 from the field. Um, so not a terrible shooting night, but it's not like the dude was hucking up a lot of shots in the first place. Malik Monk only had 8 points, 3 boards, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Uh, he shot 3 of 8 from the field, just below 50% there. Melo had 14 points, 3 boards, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 1 block. Shot 3 of 10 from the field, pretty atrocious shooting night. He pretty much just launches up them jump shots. He doesn't really try and attack the paint too often. He's pretty much just a jump shooter at this later stages of his career right now. Raptors did a good job of holding him down, not allowing him to get going in this one. Um, THT had a decent performance, probably their best player alongside LeBron in this game. He had 20 points, 5 boards, 5 assists, uh, 2 steals and 1 block. Shot 8 of 13 from the field, nice efficient shooting night. Um, but other than that, man, the Lakers really had nobody answer for anything in last night's game. Um, you know, when you bury yourselves with a 20-point deficit early on in the game, you know, tough to come back from that, especially against a hard-nosed, gritty, determined Raptors team who really, you know, we might have some stretches throughout the game where we ain't scoring the basketball at a high clip, but at the end of the day, our, our defensive intensity does not falter whatsoever, um, and that's what keeps us in those games when we do uh, struggle offensively for those stretches throughout the games, and that's exactly what happened to the Raptors. In the fourth quarter, we were struggling a little bit offensively, but that defense came in, um, you know, and kind of took over and didn't really allow the Lakers to, to run away with it in that fourth quarter on us. We were still kind of able to able to hold our own there still, you know, banging in a few baskets here and there and, and uh, maintain that lead the, the whole way through the fourth quarter. So credit to the Raptors, uh, you know, just uh, staying, staying tough defensively there when the shot wasn't dropping at key moments throughout the game. We'll break down some of the player stats on the Raptors side here. You guys, before we finish off the video, Presser Sachua with another double-double. Great performance from him last night. 10 points, 11 boards, 2 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. Shot 5 of 13 from the field. like to see the shooting numbers go up a little bit. He's still missing those bunnies around the rim. Um, you know, he's just got to continue to work on his shot. Continue to work on his uh, putbacks around the rim. 
Um, you know, and this guy's just going to continue to get better. His three-point shooting's gotten a lot better in the last few weeks here. Um, even his mid-range jumper's gotten better. He just needs to finish finish around the rim a little bit better, get, you know, a little bit softer touch around the rim with those lay-ins, and I think he'll be just fine. He can be a guy that can average a 20 and 10 for you um, going forward, in my opinion, as he continues to progress throughout his career here. Um, then you got Siakam, you guys, another great performance from Siakam last, last night, 27 points, 11 boards, 5 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block. Over 50% shooting, 9-17 from the field in last night's game. Uh, Scotty Barnes with an outstanding performance right alongside Pascal there with 21 points, 9 boards, 5 assists, uh, 1 steal, and 2 blocks. Also shooting 9-17 from the field, uh, just over 50% there, you guys. Um, those two guys just led the way early and often in this one. Uh, Gary Trent shot, I think, 1-7 in that first half. Came back nicely in the second half. Um, ended up finishing in shooting night 7-19 from the field. Finished with 28 points, 5 boards, 3 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block. Um, really did a nice job there in that 3rd and 4th quarter when some of the other guys were struggling to score. He kind of just took over the game for us and was making some good baskets. I think he had 14 points in the 3rd, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it was really nice to see him get a shoot and stroke going in that second half. We needed those points from him just to kind of maintain that lead over the Lakers. So good job on him getting things rolling. Freddie with another tough night, you guys. You could tell that knee injury has really affected his shoot and stroke. Um, shoots 3 of 14 from the field in last night's matchup. 11 points, 7 boards, 7 assists, and 1 rebound. Or uh, 1 steal, sorry. Um, still, you know, getting it done for you with the 7 boards and 7 assists. Um, playing great defense still. It just sucks that we're shooting stroke right now. Just really isn't dropping out of high clip. Doesn't really have his legs under him like he normally does. Like I said, that knee's obviously bothering him right now. Um, you know, commend Freddie for just fighting through it, gritting and grinding through it, and uh, still being a you know impactful player on the floor. Even though he's not scoring out of high clip, it's nice to see some of the other other players step in and kind of take charge as well. Um, not being afraid to go make some baskets out there. So credit to them guys as well. Uh, Boucher with a nice performance again you guys nice to see this guy kind of stepping it up we need some we need some juice off that bench right and it's been huge to be getting Boucher get going here between him and Thaddeus Young and Ken Birch lately those three guys have really stepped it up coming off that bench unit for us Boucher finishes finishing off last night with 13 points and 8 rebounds 5 of 8 from the field uh, Thaddeus Young finishing off with 2 points 9 rebounds 2 assists 2 steals and 1 block 1 of 5 from the field obviously a bad shooting night from Thad Young um, but, you know, the nine boards is huge, couple steals and a block is huge, couple assists, um, you know, so still getting it done in every area out on the floor other than the scoring department. Uh, Ken Birch with two big blocks in this one, one point and three rebounds. Um, didn't actually get up any shots in this game. The one point came from the free throw line, um, you know, so he's just doing all the little dirty things out there on the floor. He's, you know, still getting into his flow, um, but Ken Birch definitely has stepped it up and has, you know, took an... Took it another step forward since he's come back off that broken nose in the last couple games. You're starting to see, you know, the more style on how he likes to play. And, uh, you know, he's starting to get a shot to fall a little bit here and there. Obviously, he didn't take any shots last night. Um, you know, but he's just looking more comfortable out on the floor. Obviously, that broken nose is healing up nicely now. And, uh, you know, we're going to need him down the stretch here and into the playoffs to be playing some big-time minutes for us. So hopefully he can get, the, get things rolling and get that ball going in the hoop at a consistent clip, you guys. Uh, but that pretty well wraps it up for this video. 114 to 103, the final for the Raptors. Four wins in a row. Hopefully we can make it five wins coming up on Wednesday against the Clippers. You guys should be a big time game there. Um, and then we got the Lakers again on our home court on Friday. Um, you know, the ideal circumstances here is the Raptors win both of these games. And then I believe we got Philly after that, which is going to be a tough matchup. Um, I think we got Philly and then maybe Miami or another squad before we end up playing Cleveland again. Um, so we're going to want to win a few more games here in this stretch before we got Cleveland. Um, you know, really try and solidify that sixth seed by the time we uh, play Cleveland coming up next week. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there, you guys. But nonetheless, great performance from the Raptors last night. Love to see them kill them early and often in the game last night, you guys. Hopefully, we, like I said, keep the ball rolling against the Clippers on Wednesday. Would love your guys' opinion in the comments section down below. How do you think the Raptors fared in last night's game? And what do you think our chances are of going to five wins in a row here against the Clippers on Wednesday? We'd love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. And that wraps it up for this one, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. And this is Busy the Busy Sports Channel.